Hi there, it's Dave here. Welcome to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Today I'm going to speak to you about making money with uh, storage. So one of my recent videos on my Burstcoin mining setup um, got quite a few comments and um, a couple of people were asking me um, do you recommend mining Burstcoin as opposed to renting your hard drive space with storage or SIA? Um, so I thought what I'd do is a, a quick video on how you can uh, set up storage and I will do um, a a video on how you can set up SEER as well later in the week but um, just to give you uh, an overview it works slightly differently from Burstcoin. Burstcoin basically uses proof of capacity so some people are asking me do I need a lot of bandwidth because people are going to be uploading files onto my machines but Burstcoin doesn't work like that you you know you set up these kind of plots on your hard drives nothing is then sent to you you're not renting your hard drive space it doesn't work in the same way so it, it's um, it, it's slightly different um, to something like storage so basically what storage is is a decentralized um, blockchain based cloud storage solution so it's aiming to be an alternative to Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure um, and if you just go to their website, so the website is storage.io and then if you just scroll down the, the home page a little bit there's, there's a, a, a simple little one minute video here which, which explains what they do but basically it's, um, it's a decentralized uh, blockchain based cloud um, cloud storage solution so it works very much in the same way as, as Amazon's uh, web services and uh, Microsoft Azure so if you actually just go to pricing you can see here um, and what you can do if you're interested in just testing it out as a user you can sign up for a free account and get 25 gig uh, free for the first year and that also comes with I think 25 um, gigabyte of transfer every month as well um, so if you scroll down you'll see here that you know they're trying to compete with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft um, and they're, they're cheaper they're substantially cheaper they're half the price of Microsoft and they're probably what is that about two-thirds of the price of of AWS um, their other big selling point is that you know you're not uploading your data onto someone else's kind of machine so you're not uploading just to Amazon's machines which you know their argument is that they can be hacked and your data be kind of accessed so when you upload um, using storage um, basically there's thousands and thousands of users all around the world that are running this storage application and basically they're um, assigning some of their free hard drive space to storage and then when you upload a file it gets split and encrypted into lots of different kind of shards of information and that gets then uploaded and spread around loads and loads of different kind of computers you don't know actually kind of where it goes um, so their argument it's safer you know the the keys um, to reassemble that information are stored locally on your machine you can't you know hack into you know into Microsoft or, or Amazon Web Services or something like that and, and lose your your data so they're competing on price and they're also um, competing on this idea of kind of security and um, and decentralization um, so that's just a simple overview of uh, what they do but what most people are interested in is can you use it to make money so if you go to the, the web page and just click on the big rent your drive um, page you'll come to um, the page here um, as you can see this kind of thing it's open source um, so one click kind of start and what you need to do is basically just download um, their little bit of software so they have um, platforms for Mac Windows and Linux um, just a word of note I'm on Mac here um, and I've just downloaded if you look at the bottom of the screen I actually just downloaded it a few minutes ago just to save a few minutes during this video but um, I, I went to this page on my Windows machine when I scrolled over um, the download button I noticed it was prompting me to download a 32-bit version even though I have a 64-bit version of Windows so if that's the case for you just double check before you download it if you click on other platforms here you can see you can get the Windows 64-bit version if it has prompted you to download the 32-bit um, so just something to be aware of so um, if you download that then let me just double click to to open this package let's just install it quickly so just opens up let's move that across so that's done if you try and open it um, on Mac through the you know the kind of quick start what it will probably do is is tell you it's from an un identified developer so if you just go to find and then applications it's a it's an easy way to do it so we're just opening it up now and as you can see here it's downloaded from the internet you sure you want to open it so let's click open and here we are so this is the um, 
initial setup so this is the welcome page and we can start setup now um, now this is the the one thing you'll you'll need the storage coin or the storage token is um, is actually on the Ethereum blockchain so it's a token that's um, that uses something called ERC20 um, and that's within the Ethereum blockchain all that means is that you put in here your payout address so you're leasing your hard drive space to them but you need to provide your Ethereum address but you can't use an Ethereum address from an exchange or anything like that it has to be from a wallet that supports ERC20 so you can see here there's there's three different wallets here that that automatically support it so there's parity mist and probably easiest if you don't have one of these is just my ether wallet and that's what I did um, my ether wallet my ether wallet um, it's just a web-based uh, wallet that supports ERC20 um, which is the storage token so um, I just signed up for that earlier and I have an Ethereum address so I just pop that in and click next and then we can choose a storage location so if you choose files um, what I've got here is I let's just do that. That's just the application. So I have a Seagate drive that I put in earlier, and I just set up um, two files for these kind of demos. So I set one up, one folder called Storage, and one called Sia for the video later in the week. So if I just select Storage uh, and I open, and then just select Location, and here you can. Um, say how much space you want to dedicate to the store sharing so what I'm gonna do is probably do let's say let's do one terabyte just as an example so it tells you how much you have available here in terabytes gigabytes megabytes etc um, so I'm just gonna say one terabyte and click next um, there's a connection setting so this is so the um, the data can come in and out um, and well it's as simple as that that looks like it's done so let's click finish okay well hey that was a lot a lot more simple than I thought it would be it's probably gonna be quite a uh, a quick video so let's just have a look here status on um, that's the volume so it's my Seagate drive in that folder so I presume that's where all the the data from other people is gonna go um, there's an uptime um, man appears and shared so I presume that um, over time this will um, increase as people start to um, share kind of files and they start to be um, stored on my system so let's just have a quick glance at the end here so okay so we can start and stop um, that drive um, we can add drives here um, which okay so this takes us through that same process I presume we can do that and just add additional drives um, so if you've got multiple drives you can do that um, what I will um, do now I mean it's as simple as that so in some ways um, that's it really for for the video um, it was yeah it was it was really very very simple indeed it's set up and it's running um, that can be minimized I imagine and just um, will run in the background and um, hopefully you know I can if I check in in a few hours or a couple of days and we'll see some more information kind of um, there within the shared thing so I suppose it's in the system now and as people are uploading things some of the, that data will be will be put in my hard drive and I'll earn um, some money from that so what I will do now is is wrap this video up and I'll probably do a follow-up or what I might just do in a, in a couple of days is is do um, some amendments so in the description under the video um, I will um, maybe share some screenshots or some bits and bobs um, once this has run for a day or two to see um, how much has been shared etc etc but um, yeah very very straightforward that so um, you know potentially it looks good I don't know how much you know I will earn with it um, I don't think at the moment it's going to be as profitable as burst coin mining but um, we'll see and then later on in this week I will do um, um, a similar video with CSO so I'll, I'll do um, one with trying to set up SEER for, for mining and as you could see earlier I set up a folder for that so I'll uh, I'll run you through how to do that but um, for now that's it I hope you have um, a good day um, ask me any uh, questions below um, I'll, I'll upload this video now but um, I probably won't have any um, information on um, you know how how profitable how well it's worked for for a few days so um, ask me any kind of questions um, but it you know it seemed you could see with me there as I stepped through it it seemed very very straightforward so um, 
yeah, you know, potentially could be something quite interesting in the the long term. But um, that's it. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment with any questions or with any suggestions for future videos. Um, I really do appreciate the comments that, that come in and I try and answer them all. So um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye bye.